illustrations by Pete. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use a water brush. Now I've done this before, but not to this level. With this, I can get something down very quickly and I've learned how to control it. When I first started using it, I did not do so well. These are not difficult to use, but most people have never been shown the correct way to use them. They don't come with instructions, except fill here and squeeze for water. But there's a lot more to it than that, and I'm gonna show you that in this video. Let's get into it. If you are setting up for just a quick watercolor painting, I like to set up at least two different water poles or uh, water cups, or three, maybe, because I, I use one for just clean water, and then I use another one to rinse out the brush. But if I'm gonna do something bigger, I use two because I use one for the cool colors and the other one for the warm colors, so I don't mix back and forth and you end up with a very, very dirty cup. I started using these for quick sketching, and they were very difficult to use because I really didn't understand how this works. Okay, I think I have everything on the screen here. So this is a medium-sized brush. They have large and small, but this will be just fine for what we need it for. So I'm, I'll use one of these so you can still see it on the screen. I won't use one of the ones up top that you can't see. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of watercolor paint down here. Okay, that's pretty good. So these are good because you can just squeeze them and wipe off all the paint at once. And once you have a wet spot on your towel, you can just go back to that same spot and it'll wipe off the paint pretty well. Now here's the key. There is a little reservoir right here that you can look at to see how wet the paint's going to be. So for example, if I'm going to fill that up, if I squeeze it, I'm gonna do this over the paper towel. If I squeeze that, you can see this whole thing is fairly full with water. See that dark spot? There's a spot where it's run out. Now you squeeze it again, you see it fill up, right? If this is very full with water and I dip into the paint and then I put it on the page, it's going to spread fairly easily. There's a lot of water there. But let's say I was just trying to fill in little detail. Well, I want that reservoir to be a little bit more empty so I get a more of a dry brush effect. So I put this on the paper and the water, yeah, let me rinse out that color, okay. So I'll put that down on here and you'll see it dry out. You'll see it start to go away. So there's now there's not a lot of water in the reservoir. And with that, I can dip into the paint and get a very solid, concentrated, dry brush. And you can, of course, you can spread it out a little bit. But compare that to when I have it really full. If I was going to fill a small, a very small area, you can do that very smoothly. You see there's a lot of water in there. If I dry it out a little bit, go at it again, you see the difference? It's a lot drier. So it just depends on the technique you're using and how much water you want to put in there. Now if you're going into a wet wash, that's where it really matters for something that already has a lot of water on it. So if I'm going to soak this area here and go in with more color, if I go in like this, I'm just going in with more it was a very diluted paint. So now I'm going to dry that out. And now when I pick up some paint, it's a lot more concentrated because it's not as diluted as it was. I find these actually easier to use than watercolor brushes because I've been using them for so long. I naturally grab these, especially if I'm gonna do a video. That's even worse, it increases the amount of time it takes to create a video because now I have to edit out every time I dip some in a different water pot. But this way, it's very easy. You can see everything right on the screen. And if you're gonna go out and sketch anywhere, this is so much easier than trying to bring water pots with you and not have them leak or use a water bottle and then you have pouring some in and then you gotta pour it out and clean it up and make sure it doesn't soak the inside of your bag. This is a lot easier. You throw a couple of these in a Ziploc bag and you're good to go. 
We hope that helps you out if you are confused on how to use these. There's a few more videos popping up on the screen in case you want to look at them. And I will see you in the next video.